Hi guys, so I have a Dollar Tree and Walgreens haul for you today. Um, I'm going to do Walgreens last because I got some exciting stuff from there. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what it is. Um, I posted pictures yesterday when I got it. And then um, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And like I said, I'm going to do Dollar Tree haul first because it's um, not much. My Dollar Tree is kind of bombing lately and um, just haven't had really any good stuff there. So um I just kind of, you know, haven't had any beauty products, and, um, yeah, so let's just jump into it. There's not much from there. Um, the first thing I got was these cotton rounds. I'm out of the blue pack. This one's the green pack, and I hope they're kind of, like, the same, um, because I really like the ones in the blue pack, and I had stocked myself up on them, but I just ran out of them because I haven't been carrying them lately. Um, it's in the same packaging. It's just green, so I hope it's the same because the ones I have now I don't like, so... Um, and they're the Swispers kind, so hopefully these ones are like the blue pack and then I'll stock up on those. Then we just got a pack of Fruit Sensations um, Sweet Watermelon Gum. I love this. Got two packs of those. Then we got some toothpaste. I got some Colgate Total Whitening Toothpaste. That's just a normal. And I thought he got cinnamon, but he didn't. He got Tartar Protection and Whitening Colgate. So I thought he got the cinnamon one, so I told him to get the little Colgate one, just in case we didn't like this one. But they're basically the same thing. This one's just bigger, and um, it's not Colgate Total, but we'll use it anyways. And then the last four things I got at the Dollar Tree are books. Um, I always check the book section. I really don't need any books, but I do check the book section often often when I'm there, and uh, it's like usually once a month or so they get new books in, maybe twice a month, but I did find four new books, so. The first one here I got is The Cypress House by Michael Cor Coito Coita, or something like that, Corita, or whatever. Um, that's what that looks like, and this book was originally $24.99, or $24 sorry. And it says, Arlene Wagner has seen it in men before. A trace of smoke in their eyes that promise immen immediate, immen 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 imminent, imminent death. Sorry. <laughs> he is never wrong. When Arlene walks on a trial, train one hot floor tonight and sees death tailgate sign, death tailgate sign, telltale, gosh, telltale sign in the eyes of his fellow passengers, he tries to warn them. Only 19-year-old Paul Brickhill believes him, and the two abandon the train. Hoping to escape their doom, they continue south, but soon are stranded at the Cypress House, an isolated golf course boarding house, golf coast boarding house, run by the beautiful Rebecca Caddy, directly in the path of a hurricane. So, that sounds good. Um, I don't know. Just sounds like a good book, I guess. <laughs> This next one here is called Stalling My Life, Stalling for Time. My life as a hostage negotiator. This is by Gary Nosner, and it, he's just an FBI um, person. He's an FBI negotiator, and he just tells his stories of all the um, cases that have gone on, and um, I guess he gets hostage, gets stolen, or something like that. But this um, synopsis in here just says basically he tells about his. Um, FBI um, cases and whatnot. So hopefully that's a good book. I usually don't read um, memoirs or anything like that. Some of them are okay. Some of them I just, it's just not a book for me. Um, but I read, oh man, I hope that's not blood. Look at that red mark. I hope that's not blood on there. That's kind of gross. If I don't know if it's ink or blood. Ew. I don't know, it almost kind of looks like ink, but anyways, um, ugh, that's kind of gross, that grossed me out, but, um, yeah, that might go to the thrift store. <laughs> anyways, um, this next book is called The False Friend, and this is by Myla Goldberg, and this is what it looks like, the cover actually caught my eye, most covers catch my eye, and then I read the synopsis in it, I think that's what it's called, the synopsis. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. And uh, then I'm usually hooked. But anyways, this says Celia and Dejuna were the ringleaders of a highly competitive qu quintet of girls. Caught in an escalating cycle of test, reward, and punishment that peak at the afternoon, they all walked home along a forbidden woodland road. Celia blocked out what happened, but everyone else in this Jensenville assumed that Dejuna was abducted that day. Neither 
though neither Dejuna nor her abductor were found. Twenty years later, Cecilia and her boyfriend, Huck, are professionally successful, but the relationship has fallen into a gray stasis that Celia feels helpless to change. When Celia's memory of that terrible afternoon suddenly returns, she's forced to confront her part she played in her best friend's disappearance and returns to Jensenville to confess. So, ooh, that sounds like a good one, like a little mystery novel. Last one here that I picked up is called um, Delirious by Daniel Palmer. And this is what the cover looks like, a very pretty cover. This one was originally $25. And it says, Charles Gile, Char Charlie Giles is at the top of his game. An electronics superstar, he sold his star up company to a giant Boston firm where he's now a senior director. With his dog Monty at his side, Charlie is treated like a VIP everywhere he goes. Then one day, everything in Charlie's neatly ordered world starts to t go terrifyingly wrong. Terrifyingly wrong. He's prestigious, his prestigious, his prestigious job and his inventions are wrenched away from him. His family is targeted and his former employers are dying gruesomely, picked off one by one. Every sign, every shred of evidence points to Charlie as a cold blood killer. And soon Charlie is unable to tell whether he succumbed to the pressure of work or become the architect of his own destruction or whether he's the victim of a relentless diabolical attack. So that's another mystery too and that sounds pretty good. Um, so can't wait to jump into those. And I am going to do still my book collection. I might film that after I get done here of all the Dollar Tree books I picked up and then also of books that I have on hand that I didn't get from Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's go on to the Walgreens part. I am super, super, super excited about this. I picked up every single one except the um, bronze palette of the Wet n Wild New Spring Collection of 2014. I'm going to go back and get that bronze one. I just didn't really need it right now because I have a lot of those colors as it is already. But I do want to pick it up just to have it so I can have a complete collection. It'll be my first complete collection I've ever had. So I went and bought all these um, at one time and I'll show you the eyeshadow first this is the first palette and it is called flirting at the after party and it's just this pretty palette this is my first eight peats pan palette that I've owned from uh, wet n wild I don't have any of them and then it just comes with a little like brush and the normal applicator I still save those you never know when you're gonna need them so these are all the colors here they have the two top brow bones here then it goes to eyelid here crease and the definer and I'm wearing those eyeshadows today this is the look I came up with which I'll be posted that on um, Instagram too I love this look it's just a deep purple and I think it goes really nice oh I got some smudged eyeliner <laughs> I think it goes really nice with my red hair it makes my eyes pop and I love this palette it's just a really pretty palette so let me swatch them for you I'll do um, the like I'll do them in their rows that they're in this is the first row here. This is this row. Um, and I have the highlighter, which you can't see because it's a pale, pale purple highlighter on. I have the um, I the cre the eyelid color here. And then I also have um, a different eyelid color. I put brown there, and then I use the definer. It was just way too much purple with that crease color in there for me. Um, I have not gotten used to wearing brighter colors yet, so um, I went ahead and put a brown in my crease. But those are the first four colors. These are the next, the other four colors on the other side, the more pinkish toned ones. So I can't wait to do a look with that. But again, a little chalky. Okay, then I got all the nail polishes. So this first one here is just a pretty um, satiny pink color. Most of, all of them I think are satin colors. Yeah, most of them are satiny colors or have some sparkle to them. So that's what that one looks like. And this is called Sophisticated Lady. Sophisticated Lady. And this is the swatch. It's like a champagne-y pink color. It's very pretty. I'll take pictures too so you guys can see them a little bit better. Okay, this next one I have here is called Elegance. And it's just a pearly white. And this one here is exactly like the Sinful Colors Tokyo Pearl. This is the Tokyo Pearl and this is the Elegant Late, um, Elegance. They're exactly the same. So um, 
This is the only polish here that I have a dupe of or as the same as another polish. All the other ones are ones that I haven't had in my collection. But those look exactly the same, but it's still a pretty color. And this is what Elegance looks like. Oops. Nice pearl color. Okay, this next one I have here is like a creamy peach or a creamy pink. It's a little bit lighter than the first pink that I had. It, this one's probably more of a champagne color, and this is called Champagne Toast, so that would make sense. <laughs> it's more of a champagne color than this one. This one has more pink to it, which is the um, Sophisticated Lady. As you can see, they're two different colors there. And this is Champagne Toast swatched. Hopefully you can see it there. The next color I have here is called Silver Lining. And it's a nice dark, well not dark, but it's a, it's a dark silver. But when it comes out, it's a little misleading in the bottle. It's darker than the swatch, which the swatch is here. It's very light. As you can see, the bottle is darker than the nail polish. But all these are pretty true to color, except this one. <laughs> But it's a pretty grayish silver color. I like it. And this one has some shimmer to it, which hopefully you'll see in the picture that it comes off blue. Because I don't think my light is picking it up. But it has some shimmer that looks blue. It makes the color of the polish look blue. And it almost looks like there's some pink shimmer as well in that. Which I don't think is picking up in this, net, in this um, swatch. But it does have some pink shimmer in there and also it looks blue. This next one here is like a lavender color and it's called Candid Affair. And this is what Candid Affair looks like. And this is the swatch. Again, it has, it's a satin finish, but it looks like it has some pink glitter in there as well. next one here is another it's like a taupey color and this one I say is the most pigmented and it's called valet tag and that's what that looks like it's like a nice taupe color and this one is um, mo the most pigmented and um, I really liked it and I don't have anything in my color and then my collection like this and I oh my god I love this color it's so pretty I'm stumbling all over my words today I'm sorry guys But anyways, this like taupey color looks to be a satin finish. I don't see really any shimmer to it. I really like these bottles. Um, I like the Mega Last Formula. They are like, um, they have the Y brush too in them, which is nice because that covers the whole nail and gives you a nice application. And I think it looks really just fresh and neat with the white bottle. Definitely good for like a spring collection. Just gives you that fresh feeling. So I really like these polishes and I highly recommend them. Um, they're really pretty. So I got some more nail polish. Um, they were the Wet n Wild Wild Shines. This first one I got here is just the Wet n Wild Shine Protective Base Coat. Angie from So Get This said she loved this base coat so I had to pick it up myself. Um, I love base coats. I have two that I currently use which is the Milani and the Sinful Colors one. Okay, so that one obviously doesn't have a swatch. The next one here is this white color but it's French white cream. It's like for when you do French manicure so I thought I needed to pick this up because um, I do some French manicure sometimes and you can never have too many whites. You don't have to use it for French manicure. You know, you can use it whenever. So French white cream and I did a French manicure on it and the base of this nail I use this NYC excuse my French polish called strawberry cream that's what it looks like I do use it a lot as you can see for French manicures I think it makes the nail look natural so this is what it looks like and came out um, I came up with I think it looks really nice that French tip especially along with that French cream or that um, strawberry cream base there so it's very nice and very opaque
Okay, this last one that I picked up here is this, their um, matte top coat. I love matte polishes, trying out new ones. This one by far is the best one. Um, I have an e.l.f. one that Katie gave me, and then also um, I have a hard, um, hard candy top coat that I bought. And so I bought this one to try it out, and this is just their matte top coat. And um, it works wonders. I love it. I did half of it just in the normal, and then to show you the matte, I did that half. The matte. And as you can see, it's nice and matte and beautiful. I did it in black just because I think that shows it a lot better. So... Okay guys, that's it for my um, haul. That's all I have for you. I know it was kind of small compared to most hauls that I do, but the Dollar Tree just doesn't have anything. I can't seem to find anything. No new food, nothing. And uh, it's a little disappointing because I really love the Dollar Tree, but you know, it just gives me a chance, I guess, to go out and get um, other products to try, other new products and whatnot. So anyways guys, if you have any questions, please ask them and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.